Hi, and welcome to First Things First. This is day seven of Boot Camp, a leadership guide to building a gold standard nonprofit. On day six, we continued our discussion of authentic passion and what it takes for a nonprofit to transform lip service passion into authentic passion. I discussed the concept of commitment and why commitment is essential to fulfilling a mission, unlike many people who just recognize the idea of a mission. Today, I'm going to share with you why a clear sense of purpose is another essential tactic you'll need to put in place to create an authentic culture, a do something culture. Okay, let's assume your board and staff are committed and motivated to fulfilling your mission. Great. But what work should they be committed to to make this happen? What is in place to guide their decisions? See, successful nonprofits know where they want to go, what they want to do, why they want to do it, and how they're going to achieve it. They have a clear sense of purpose and it provides a backdrop for every important decision and action they make. The first three documents you'll want to develop to define a clear sense of purpose are a mission statement, a vision statement, and a statement of purpose. Embedded in these statements are the guiding principles and the core values that create the unifying purpose to channel and propel everybody's commitment and passion. They also create standards by which your nonprofit can measure its efficiency and effectiveness. The other two items you'll want to put in place to give you a clear sense of purpose are job descriptions for staff members and roles and responsibilities document for board members. Well-defined job descriptions for staff outline what is expected of staff. They also provide staff a clear sense of purpose as defined through their work duties and responsibilities. Similarly, well-defined roles and responsibilities for board members outline what is expected of board members through their work duties and responsibilities. I'll be talking about how to develop a best-in-class roles and responsibilities document in another show. Once you have these core documents in place, you won't want to hang them on the wall just yet. You'll want to use the content and intention of all these documents to create and update things such as your bylaws, strategic plans, corporate policies, and marketing materials. Everything your nonprofit says and does should be connected to the intent and the meaning of these documents, including how you manage staff, inspire volunteers, develop programs, and measure success. For example, do the outcomes of your programs align with the purpose of your mission? Are the fundraising tactics used in your major donor fundraising program aligned with the principles outlined in your case statement? Do volunteers know the core values driving your vision? Are board members being held accountable to fulfill their fundraising obligations? Think about it. How can you expect people to be authentically passionate about your vision and be authentically committed to fulfilling your mission if they don't understand, believe, and value them? How can people effectively raise funds if they can't make a good case for support? How can you plan for the future if you don't know where you want to go? How can board and staff members be held accountable if they don't clearly know what's expected of them? If you want to create an authentically passionate culture, a do something culture, then you need to lay the foundation of who should be doing what and where you want to go. First things first. Well, that's it for today. Tune in next week when I'll talk about how authentic passion requires a system to engage people. Until then, remember to do what's right for your nonprofit, not what's convenient or easy. Hoo Good, bad, or ugly? Good, bad, or ugly with serpent. On three. Ready? Look at one, two, three. Good, bad, or ugly? Good, bad, or ugly? Or, uh, sorry. Good, bad, or ugly? It doesn't matter. We're serving. Okay. Good, Good, bad, or ugly? It doesn't matter. We're out serving. serving.